Today I'm going to show you how to do beef heart in the slow cooker. I really like to do it in the slow cooker because it does tenderize this really tough muscle, which is going to be tough, which is understandable. Beef heart is something that has these nutrients that are actually good for your heart in it, and you'll find this with all organ meats. If you look at the specific nutrients in it that are specific to this organ, they correspond with what we need. So if we need good cardiovascular health, um, eating heart, is really good for us and as you know that heart disease is the number one killer a lot of like people that die of old age are dying from heart failure which is something that comes with old age there's actually anti-aging coq10 in that is really high in heart and beef heart is one of the less expensive and more mild tasting organ meats it's really good it it's really mild tasting. Um, it tastes like muscle meat. It has a really fine texture and I like to eat it just cold. Like I'll cut it into lunch meat type slices and enjoy it cold just right out of the fridge. So it's perfect. Um, it's perfect for eating on the run. If you're packing to go out of town and you need something to eat that you might not have a chance to heat up. Um, these are pieces of heart. I used to be able to, at this butcher, I used to be able to get a whole heart for like $5 and it was fantastic. Um, he's since the organ meats at this butcher have caught on and it's a little higher price now, but still it's um, $5 a pound. So definitely inexpensive as far as grass fed organic beef heart goes. And it's super easy to prepare in the slow cooker and it's really delicious. The only thing that you need to watch out for with heart is that it's really low in fat. And so you're gonna want to add some fat to your meals um, and not make a meal out of heart because it just doesn't have the calories. It's not gonna hold you over with being low in fat. So this is all fat and these are your little literal heart strings, the little strings in the ventricle of the heart. And so I like to put it with the fat up in the slow cooker. And then you want your slow cooker to be at least half full. So we're going to fill it half after we put these in, we're going to fill it halfway with water because if it's less than half full, it will burn the meat as it slow cooks. But ha adding the water into the heart prevents it from getting hot patches. So again, this is the fat around the heart, the inside. These are the heart strings. Um, they can stay in. You can cut them out if you want. I don't even rinse it. I just put it right in, fat up, sprinkle with sea salt, pour some water on the top and cook it on low all day. We sprinkle with a teaspoon of sea salt. This is about four pounds of heart altogether. So a teaspoon of sea salt. And then we're gonna fill it halfway with filtered water. And then the water will have nutrients in it from this heart. So we're gonna wanna save this water um, and just pour it in with your beef stock that you've already made. And you probably need to top up your beef stock a little bit anyway. So this water is gonna be super nutrient dense and have those vitamins and minerals from the heart meat in it. It's not something that we want to waste. Our heart has been simmering all day in the slow cooker on low, so we are just gonna turn it off. Here is our heart in here. We're gonna cool it just until it's not too hot to touch and then slice and heart is a delicious meat that is high in CoQ10 and super good for the anti-aging properties. And remember the water that we cooked it in, we are going to save because it does have all of those vitamins and minerals in it that we want to save. We're gonna just pour it right into our beef stock because this is beef heart and it really just tastes like beef. Um, so just add a little bit of salt and add it in with your stock or put it in a separate jar if you don't have room in your current jar. And we're just gonna let this cool for a minute. Then I'll slice this up and show you how delicious and tender it is. And it's something that you're definitely gonna make a regular on your diet, on carnivore or not, because it is so good for you and it's so delicious and it's really inexpensive.
This delicious recipe is from our Carnivore Training Wheels class. In the Carnivore Training Wheels class, I get you up and running and successful on your first 10 days of the carnivore diet. Join me and learn how to set your mindset up for success on the carnivore diet, set your kitchen up for success on the carnivore diet, how to cook 10 delicious meat and salt only recipes using very minimal kitchen equipment and get daily advice um, for day to day for the first 10 days so that you can stick with and see success on the carnivore diet. Go ahead and follow the link below and feel free to ask any questions in the comments that you may have.